into this, I really thought I was going to be more Team Iron Man. But dang, Rogers. <laughs> Remember that first time you saw Captain America, the first Avengers in theaters? Yeah, neither did I. Honestly, in between the 13 films, his first one was probably the lowest for me, and it was only so-so. Now, we really started to like him when it came to the Avengers movie. You started feeling like this guy has got something in him. And then after that, you got to see him in Captain America, the Winter Soldier mind blown. Oh my gosh. That is where things really got good for me. And now I really do believe that they have given us yet another stellar film based on Captain America. I heart Steve Roger. The team is being ripped apart by politics. Honestly, it sounds like a family dinner, but I mean, what was great is not just surface stuff. That was one of the things I, I'm, I'm really not going to say much about the plot. I'm not going to say much about anything other than it was really good and I give high praise to the screenwriters for these things because the first thing that I really loved was I understood everyone's motives, which I believe is the most important part of all of these films. Like you can't jump into a film, I mean, okay, if they were just to say, oh yeah, like we, we disagree on this and now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go over here and everybody else just pick a side. You know, that's, uh, it would just be like walk out now or it becomes the you just make fun of the whole thing, which I know I've done. Um, but this one, I felt like I knew exactly why Iron Man went one way and I knew exactly why Captain Rogers went the other. And then I also knew why all of their team kind of followed suit and why they thought they belonged in those camps. And so that was one of the things that I really appreciated. And all the way to the end, I understood why it got heated. And going along with that, the fact that there were so many characters that they had to juggle in this, I still felt like everything was really balanced, which I was really grateful for because there were a lot of characters in there that you're like, oh, I really hope that you get enough screen time because you're awesome. And man, they really did a good job with this and they added different characters and you felt like you knew them and you felt like you understood them and it was just excellently, superbly done in that way. And then also humor. Also, I mean, obviously, it's not going to be a Marvel's Avenger type film without it being, you know, the quips. You know, you, you got to have them. And they do also a great job with that, making sure that you're not just totally bombarded with, like, down bombs exploding in your face. That's all you get. Like, this is actually legitimately funny. <laughs> um, and then also I'm going to say Spider-Man. <laughs> yes. He was just as good as everybody's saying he was. I really enjoyed his entry, and I felt like you really are seeing a really good version of him. So, all in all, I'm going to say that, oh, I did see this in IMAX 3D, which, sensory overload, um, but I did enjoy it. And I think that if you really wanted to get into it, you should see it that way, Um but probably see it twice <laughs> because you're really going to be enthralled. Um, and that's really the only way you're going to be able to understand everything. Anyway, outside of that, I feel like this is a movie that you should see. And you should see multiple times in theaters because it is that good. Until next time, my name is Chelsea Robson and you are watching The Rotoscopers YouTube. Hey, do you like animated movies? Because if you do, you should totally join us on the Animation Addicts podcast with the Rotoscopers, and that happens every other week. Head on over to rotoscopers.com slash live to find out which movie we're going to be talking about next, and also how you can join in the chat on that conversation. 